hello and bonjour and welcome to Travels Around My Bedroom number 41. So today I am taking you to Central America. We are going to Costa Rica. So, oh, hold on a second. Sorry, I just need to make sure that I've got my little piece of paper with all my notes to make sure I'm not missing on anything because I always forget things when I start. So, I went to Costa Rica um, when I was uh, 20... Uh, actually, no, when I, was, uh, when I was 30. And the reason why this trip was very important to me is because it started really well the beginning of a of a new me i would say uh, so i ended up going to costa rica because i was a travel agent at the time uh, you know and uh, and as i explained when i did the videos on uh, on new york you get to win some fantastic prizes <laughs> and uh british airways had an amazing offer to fly to san jose for 99 pound return. That was completely nuts. They were introducing new planes with a uh, flat screen TV. They were obviously competing against Virgin. So they wanted to invite a lot of travel agents to take on the flight. So uh, there were loads of different destinations I could have gone to, like Bishkek, I remember, uh, which was also on the list. But uh, my partner and I, we uh, at the time, we settled for, uh, for Costa Rica. So did all the research uh, on my lonely planet and then realized that I really, really, really wanted to climb uh, Volcano Arenal. I'll speak about, about the volcano a little bit later. So at the time, I um, weigh, um, I used to weigh uh, 21 kilos more, so three stones more than what I weigh now. So I was a size 12 and now I'm a size uh, 6. And I think I started to talk to you in on my video um, about New York, about going to Gap and uh, yeah, and telling you about the fact that they had a size 0 because the point is that at the time, and I don't know if I said it on the, on the video, um, I didn't ever imagine that I would eventually become a size zero. I didn't, like, that would never have come across my mind. Um, so I decided that I had to get fit. And for me, it wasn't, it, it was about losing weight. It was also about the fact that I was entering my thirties and I wanted to sort myself out to enter a new decade of my life, uh, in a new way. Um, but I really made it about, about achieving a goal, which was to climb a volcano. It's something that I would never have thought I would have ever been capable of. So, um, I was very, very fortunate in the fact that the sister of my ex-partner of Lars was a dietitian. So she, uh, dietitian in training, but she gave us this meal plan. We went to, uh, the gym three times a week and we worked and for one year I didn't drink a, a drop of alcohol I was really really strict with myself followed the plan and uh, and lost two stones lost 14 kilos the rest I lost during you know the breakup not with last with with number three um and um and it's something that I have that I have actually learned which is that if you make it, because I had attempted to, to lose weight before, but if you make it about losing weight, then you gain, you regain that weight afterwards. But if you make it about achieving a goal or becoming healthy, then it becomes about a different narrative. So it's not about being the opposite of what you used to, to do. We call it the kind of, uh, a theory of least resistance. You know, you imagine that you have an elastic band, and then when you stretch the elastic band, it goes back to its normal, uh, its normal position eventually. So, you know, uh, I am overweight and I diet and then I go back to being overweight. So you can't, um, you can't do anything about that because 
you're doing the opposite of what you don't want. Um, but when you do something else, when you make it about something else, then it actually really, really works. Um, so, um, my God, it's already five minutes. So, uh, if you want to know more about what I did for, for the diet, actually, it's very, very quick. So I'll, I'll, I'll share it with you. Um, it was just one plate divided in, uh, in three with half of the plate vegetables, the other quarter, um, I, feculent and then the other quarter, um, uh, a meat or, or a fish. And then I had salad for, that was for dinner, salad for lunch and, um, and brown flakes, uh, uh, everything without sugar, um, in the morning with, with some fruits. And that was it. And, and three times to go to the gym. And that worked at the time. Uh, now I'm older, so I don't know, you know, with the, uh, the arrival of menopause, I've got no, no idea how it would, if that would work, but that worked for me at the time. So this is going to be one of those where I go back and I open the envelope and I've never, you know, I haven't actually opened that envelope since I went to, um, to Costa Rica. So, um, one of the amazing things when you arrive in Costa Rica in San Jose is that there are no addresses. Um, they, or there were no addresses at the time. I don't know how it is now. But, uh, the, the address of our, uh, of our guest house was like, it's the red house near that tree or near that post office or near that shop, which I thought was really, really funky. I had never been in a country where they didn't have addresses like this. Um, so, ta -da 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 -da. let's have, uh, okay, travel documents, tickets, everything is there. It's amazing to see that I have absolutely kept everything. So this used to be the uh, company I used to work for, Use It uh, Campus, actually, um, specialized in news travel. And now they're no longer, but uh, you will have heard of STA Travel, which was the one of their competitors. So one of the places that I really loved the most was going to um, the National Park of Toto Guerrero. And it was just such a beautiful, beautiful place. And the kind of vegetation that I had never seen before. What I remember from Costa Rica is the humidity. It's the fact, so we were there just on the shoulder season of rainy season and dry season. And, uh, and first of all, I had never seen rain like that in my entire life. It was just absolutely nuts, bonkers. Um, and, um, and, uh, oh, well, oh, and the humidity. I remember at Toto Grotto National Park where we, I, I was washing the clothes and it just wouldn't dry. It wouldn't dry. And I remember hanging them on the fan thinking that maybe the air would dry them, but it just wouldn't dry at all. I had never experienced that before, but this rain coming upon you. And it's one of the things that I've learned, you know, when you go uh, traveling in rainy season is the fact that you need to do everything in the morning because in the afternoon, it usually, it usually rains. Yes. Um, so what do we have? That was ooh, someone that I must have been on a tour with. Um, oh, my 500 colonists in order to phone. I think that was a phone card, of course. And I just want, oh, oh my God. I forgot about this. Okay. And how the hell could I forget about that? That was the skywalk. Oh, what an experience. So we, um, we went. We, I remember, so they harness you. Yes. And I decided that I was, I was going to do something a bit bonkers because I had lost all that twice. I really wanted to push myself to do something that I would never ever have thought I could do. So just to share something with you, I can't actually, like I'm very adventurous, but I can't jump into a swimming pool from the edge of the pool. I, I freeze. So just to put things into context. So we went to this place and uh, they harness you. And I remember my guide was from Montreal, which was great. Um, and then we go into a hollow fig trees. Fig trees are hollow. I didn't know either. So we go into that tree and then they have a, a, a ladder inside. So you, uh, you climb the ladder and you arrive on the first platform and then you, it's, it's a zip thing. Yes. And at the beginning, I think it was probably the first one in the world or one of the first ones. And you zip from one, um, one tree to another and you're above, uh, well, you you, you see the, the treetops which was amazing. So it was, 
<laughs> it was a bit scary, um, but but I did it and it was really wonderful. I didn't want, you know, when you start, you don't want to stop. It's just, it's the starting thing that's always, always the thing. Um, and uh, and I just, I absolutely, absolutely loved it. And then they had the canopy walk where you could, you could walk around, but I loved doing the zip thing. That was so cool. <gasps> My God, I just can't believe that I forgot about this. So... One of the, I'm just looking, yeah, San Jose, San Jose walk. Oh, the one thing that I loved about San Jose is their opera house because it's, um, it's a copycat of, or oh, it's based on, uh, Paris, uh, Opera Garnier. So it's really, uh, really beautiful as well. Hotel, um, tourist map. Uh, we went to visit several national parks. Oh, the one thing that I really, really like. Oh, that's it. That's what I was looking for. Was um was the fact that uh that's it. I forgot. So yes, so we went to Arenal. Yes, Volcano Arenal. The one amazing thing with Volcano Arenal is that we I booked the most expensive room, which had a French window, so uh on the volcano, which meant that it was like the honeymoon suite. Um which meant that when the volcano erupted during the night, you would be able to watch it. You didn't need any TV. And that happened. You know, I woke up at 2 a.m. and I had this blah, 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 like this. And uh, and it was Volcano Arena. And it was the most amazing sight. Didn't sleep all night. Just watched the volcano. Never went, by the way, to climb Volcano Arena because it was erupting and it was too dangerous. But... um yeah, I still, uh, well, I still lost the weight. So, so who cares, you know, in some point that I, um, and I, and I kept it off. So that was, that was great. Um, so sometimes even if we don't achieve our goals, we still, you know, we still do something, um, for a purpose that brings us to a healthier state of mind, healthier state of body. And then we keep it and we go on different adventures, which is what I love. Um, but, oh, yeah, bus from Coca-Cola Terminal. I had forgotten it was called Coca-Cola Terminal. So we went to uh, uh, Manuel Antonio, Volcano Chateau. We tried to climb that one and get got lost, tout à fait. Uh, Monte Verde National Park, I'd forgotten. We went to see a cheese factory. Oh, and some art galleries. And that is one of the things that I actually bought because, I, you know, I love buying art and I love wood. So this is the sculptor. Sculpture, sorry, that I brought back from um, from Costa Rica, which I absolutely love, and I use um, to keep my books actually as a book bookstop. I think you uh, you call them. So absolutely uh, love it, um, and I don't know, I don't know actually who made it. If someone recognized it, I would love to know. You can you can help me, but um, but I find it um, I find it really beautiful because it gives me the air of um, of a goddess and of a healer and of someone who is really truly connected to uh, to nature and uh, and I think that as a symbol of being a woman, especially with the wings, it's really beautiful. And I I bought it not you know not even thinking about these things. It's now that I watch it uh, and now that I have more connections to all the goddess the goddess thing and spirit things that I can realize that you buy these things. Um, almost in expectation of, of the future. You don't understand, but your intuition tells you that this is for you. And then you discover what the, what the true meaning of it is afterwards. So um, these are some of the things that I wanted to share with you about, um, about Costa Rica. Um, and of course, you know, of, of course, also going and seeing the coffee plantations, which I had never seen before in my life. So that was really amazing. So I've again spoke, not for England, but for the entire world. Um, thank you very much. I really would love to know if you've ever, um, if you've uh, ever put yourself through, um, uh, you know, through a diet, uh, in order or through some kind of regime, fitness regime in order to prepare yourself for a travel, in order to prepare yourself to take on an adventure or to do something that uh, has pushed you and what is it that you uh, that you learn from it so thank you very much goodbye and have a lovely day